Hey guys, this is Blake with Feeling to Function, and today what I have in front of me is an array of protein bar wrappers. I have everything from the infamous Quest Bar to Pop Tart wrappers and Power Bar wrappers and everything. And I am just going to go down one by one through each of these, probably kind of in groups like a Power Bar group, a Quest Bar group video. And I'm going to do a review of each of them. What I'm going to do in my review is talk about if I think it's a good bar for bulking versus cutting, which is kind of going to come into the fact whether it's more like a candy bar or it's more of a health bar. Um, in, you know, the nutritional value, I'll go over the macronutrients, you know, the amount of calories in it. Um, then I'll go over how I thought it tasted, um, the ingredients they use as far as if there's ingredients in it that I wish weren't in there just because they're not good for your health. Um, then affordability, which most, most protein bars are going to be fairly expensive. The main reason would be because they're not like a candy bar, or they're, they're marketed not to be like a candy bar, although many of them are just a candy bar with protein added to them that typically won't taste as good as a candy bar. Um, but they're a very convenient way to get in protein or extra calories or whatever. Um, you don't need one of these guys. You don't need a food scale. You don't, or that was my food scale. You don't need measuring cups. You don't need anything. The macronutrients, the calories, everything are on the back of the label. You just eat it. Um, it's easy to pack. Why I have so many of these is because when I was participating in sports in high school, I would go straight from sports practice to work. Um, and then I would get a chance to eat once I was at work after a few hours. But these were a really easy way to get some food in me in that quick time period rather than having to unpackage a whole meal. Um, at the end of the video, I'll try and wrap up the pros and cons of each bar. Uh, if I recommend it for you and under what circumstances as far as what your goals are. Um, just so you know, I have tried all of these bars. I've recorded um, just quick thoughts about them, highlighted some of the ones I think are better than others and why, um, kind of given reasons on that. But enough babble, let's get to my review of Power Bar. Alright guys, so I uh, have quite a few different Power Bars here, they have a bunch of different lines. You have the Harvest Energy, the Performance Energy, the Triple Threat Energy, um, and then the Protein Plus line. So I'm going to try and briefly go over all of them, but the main one I'm going to focus on is the Protein Plus line, because that's the only protein bar here. Uh, the Harvest Energy is made from whole grain rolled oats and stuff, so it's a little bit lower in sugar than the other bars, um, but it's it's okay. It will maybe tide you over, maybe be a balance between a candy bar and a sweet treat, uh, or a candy bar and a healthy option. Um, it's not necessarily healthy, like you'd be better off eating a piece of fruit and having a protein shake, but if you needed something kind of mimic a candy bar, these might be a good go-to option. Same with the Triple Threat Energy. These have a little bit more protein in them than the other ones. They have about 10 grams of protein, um, you know, about as many calories as a candy bar. And you may you may even be a little bit better off just craving your sweet tooth and going with a candy bar. The only upside of these would be they have a couple more grams of fiber, but they're not amazing and they're probably going to cost a little bit more than a candy bar. The Performance Energy ones, these are really thick, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of like Laffy Taffy, but thick and doesn't taste as good. Um, it's harder. Uh, as far as the flavors go, I would definitely recommend the fruit one and not like the vanilla or the chocolate peanut butter one. Uh, these don't have that much protein in them. They have like eight grams of protein. So once again, you'd probably be just as well off going for a candy bar and craving your sweet tooth. But if you were an athlete who needed some energy, um, you're an endurance runner or something like that, these would be a good go-to just to give you a quick boost before your event. Not something I would say you should eat all the time just to be quote unquote healthy. Um, the Power Bar Protein Plus, they actually have several different ones now. They have a Power Bar Protein Plus with 30 grams of protein, um, then they have one with 23 grams of protein, and then their newest one is 20 grams of protein. Um, this one I believe is the oldest. It's the highest in calories, it has 360 calories. Um, then this one. It came a little later, it's a little lower in protein. It has uh, 300 calories, and then this is their most recent one, and it has 210 calories in it. So uh, this one, I mean, I wouldn't even recommend this one. It's a lot higher in fat than the other ones. 
uh, pretty much just all the carbohydrates are coming from sugar and then it's got some protein in it. You'd be much better off uh, with, which is, this is the case with most protein bars, you'd be a lot better off just going and getting your favorite candy bar and then drinking a protein shake. Um, if you really, really just needed something and this was all that was there, I mean, go for it. But I would say stock up on these. Uh, these ones, a little bit less sugar. Uh, I mean, well, sugar is not bad, but you don't want all of the calories in your bar just coming, or all the carbs in your bar just purely coming from sugar. You'd be better off just eating a real candy bar. Um, these only have 20 grams of sugar, 19, 20 grams of sugar, and then they have like 40 carbs. So about half the carbs come from sugar, but they taste pretty good. Um, I actually, I really liked the vanilla yogurt one, um, and I had several of these, not the greatest protein bar in the world, but it's kind of like I said, a balance between a candy bar and a protein bar, um, and, but it has about as many calories as a candy bar, if not more, so these are, these were convenient, I use these a lot during sports and stuff, but if you were just, you know, craving something sweet, you'd be better off going and getting your Snickers and coming home and drinking a protein shake while munching on your Snickers. Um, the newest ones though, I actually really enjoy these. Uh, the chocolate peanut butter and the vanilla flavor are both good. I think I like the chocolate peanut butter more. Uh, these ones have a couple more grams of fiber. They have four grams of fiber and they're pretty low in carbohydrates. They only have 25 grams of carbs where the old ones have like 40. Um, then only 12 grams of sugar. So your carbs aren't coming primarily from sugar. They're a little bit lower in fat and they still have 20 grams of protein. So that's a pretty good amount of protein. Um, all of these are decent tasting uh, i think the power bar line does a good job of that but when you're looking at it you know just look at the label look at the back try not to get something that just all the carbs are coming from sugar super high in fat super high in calories um, and just realize that these aren't something that are replacing like your fruits and vegetables and being really really healthy these are like a hybrid between a candy bar and a healthy alternative so if you need these for convenience purposes. Um, a protein, the newest ones, really wouldn't be a bad option to keep around for a good like 200 calorie snack. But if you're really just craving something sweet and you think that you're doing yourself a good favor by eating this as opposed to a candy bar, go eat the candy bar and drink your protein shake with it or whatever. But these are okay. Um, one more thing, they do have a reduced sugar version if you're a diabetic or something. Um, this one is loaded with sugar alcohols. Um, and really doesn't have that many less calories. It's got just, it's, uh, the, these were marketed with the second one I mentioned. Uh, and these have 30 grams of carbs. These have 39 grams of carbs. These have 19 grams of sugar. These have one gram of sugar and 26 grams of sugar from sugar alcohols. So really, if you're craving something, just go for the real bar over this bar. But if you were diabetic, this would be another option. Well, that's pretty much going to do it. I um, would say if you if you really wanted a good like 200 calorie snack bar, these would be a good option. Or as I mentioned in another video, the Supreme Protein Bar uh, would also be a good option for like a 200 calorie snack bar. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a comment telling me your thoughts on Power Bar, the line, the product, um, everything, and what your favorite protein bar is in the comment section. Oh yeah, one more thing. So kind of to try and spur a little more growth in my channel. I know a lot of bigger channels will do big giveaways like, you know, today we're going to give away a five pound jug of protein or a whole box of Quest Bars. Um, so my thing, I only have like 40 subscribers at the time of making this video. Um, when I get 100 subscribers, I am going to do a giveaway video where I'll just give away one protein bar. Um, you can just type, leave, I'll have some kind of question, randomly select someone, they'll just tell me what type of protein bar they want and then I will just mail that to them. When I get to 500 subscribers, I'm gonna do like a box of six protein bars of whatever type they want. And then when I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll do a full box of protein bars. And hopefully as I grow, I can do bigger giveaways in the future. But if you like, share, show this to someone, have them subscribe to the channel, that's gonna get us there that much faster. You view the opportunity to win something. So please do share this video. Okay, now I'm really done. Have a great day, guys.